Hey guys, I'm Myra, and on today's menu, we're making a cake that's made with two ingredients that's gluten-free, dairy-free, and low-carb. So let's get started. So I'm using dark chocolate. I'm actually using these no sugar added dark chocolate chips by Chalk Zero, and I'll leave them linked in the description below. Um, I also have a discount code, which is low carb love, if you guys um, wanna grab them. But you can also use milk chocolate for this. You just need chocolate chips. So it's two ingredients. One of them we have right here, our chocolate chips. I'm actually gonna throw this into the microwave. We're gonna melt this and you want to do it like in I would say 15 to 20 second increments. Just It really just depends on the strength of your microwave um, because the last thing you wanna do is burn your chocolate. If you burn it, literally have to throw it away and start all over. And we all know that high quality chocolate chips are not cheap. So <laughs> we definitely wanna be careful with that. So let's go ahead and melt this. I'm gonna show you the consistency and how quick this is to make. Okay, so if we look down here, you'll see that my chocolate is nice and melted. This actually only took about 40 seconds and this is the consistency we are looking for. And what we're gonna do is move on to our eggs. We're gonna separate the egg whites from the yolk. And we're gonna use both. I'm just gonna put our little yolks here. Do that really quickly. So we've separated the egg whites from the egg yolks. We're gonna whip up our egg whites to stiff peaks and then I'm gonna show you the next step. So we're gonna get started by pouring in our egg yolks right into our uh, chocolate mixture, okay? So let's go ahead and pour that in. And just to make it easier, I want like everything to be super well incorporated. We're just gonna go in with the hand mixer. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is just fold in our egg whites. So this is really important. You wanna fold it in, not mix it, because the egg whites are fluffy and it's going to um, give the cake the height that it needs. Okay, so you're just gonna grab it from the bottom and fold in. And we're just gonna do that for the entire batter. Okay, so this is pretty much done. This is our cake batter at this point. And we're gonna get our baking dish and we are going to bake this. I'm just gonna set everything up and I cannot wait to show you the final product. The texture on this cake is unreal. Oil so it sticks and it fits perfectly. And let's pour in our cake batter. I cannot believe that we are making a cake with two ingredients right now, seriously. Make sure your oven is preheated to 325 degrees. So now we're gonna go ahead and bake this. I would say between 20 to 30 minutes. It really just depends on like the strength of your, of your oven. But I'm gonna show you how this little beauty is about to transform into a beautiful cake. All right, guys, so I've placed our cake here on our little cake stand. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the inside because that is very important. How does that look? How does this look, guys? I cannot wait for you guys to try this. It's so easy. There's absolutely no reason for you not to try it. If you love chocolate cake, you have to try this recipe. All right, guys, so now time for the taste test. Oh my gosh. This texture is everything. Oh my gosh. It's like a cross between a cake and a brownie. It is so decadent. Chocolatey, fudgy. Mm. All right, guys, so this cake is everything. I think if you could even make this like a two layer cake with like um, maybe like a cream cheese frosting. Well, this is like if you're not dairy free, right? Or even dairy free, they do have um, 
like cream cheese alternatives where you can almost make it like with a little cream cheese or like a maybe like a chocolate ganache i don't know i'm just thinking because it definitely has like the structure for you to be able to layer it it has good texture but on top of all of that it's just absolutely delicious so if you love chocolate cake this is a two ingredient cake like you literally cannot mess this up I'm going to leave the recipe in the description below. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that like button, share this recipe with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle, or maybe just trying to make healthier choices in their life. Thanks again for being here. I love you. And I will see you on my next video. Mwah.